Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my series of Simon Stories of Waste High School. I will do it until under the series uh, before school starts, guys. Let's begin. Chapter 12. Jason. Jason had a small face and a big mouth. He had the second biggest mouth in Mrs. Jules' class, and there was an awful lot of big mouths in that in that class. Mrs. Jules Jason called without raising his hand. Joy showing gum in class. Joy had the biggest mouth in Mrs. Jules' class, and it was filled with gum. There was hardly even room for her tongue. Joy, I'm ashamed of you, said Mrs. Jules. I'm afraid that I'll have to put your name on, up on the board. That's okay, Mrs. Jules Jason called. I'll do it. Jason hopped out of his seat and wrote Joy's name on the blackboard under the word discipline. While he was up, Joy took the glob of gum out of her mouth and placed it on Jason's chair. Rodney and Allison giggled. Jason walked back from the blackboard to his desk and sat down. Mrs. Jules, he called, I'm stuck. Ronnie and Allison giggled again. Mrs. Jules got angry. Joy, you're going home on the kindergarten bus today. Oh, good, said Todd. I'll have some company. Todd went home on the kindergarten bus every day. He could never seem to make it to 12 o'clock without getting into trouble three times. His name wasn't even up on the blackboard yet, but he knew that by 12 o'clock it would be up checked and circled. Mrs. Jules, what am I going to do? I'm stuck. I'm going to stay here the, the rest of my life, said Jason. Joy, tell da Jason you're sorry, said Mrs. Jules. I'm sorry, Jason, said Joy. Oh, that's okay, Joy, said Jason. I don't mind. Try to get up, Jason, said Mrs. Jules. Jason tried. I can't, Mrs. Jules. I'm stuck. Mrs. Jules had the three Eric's to help. Eric Ryan, Eric Owens pulled Jason. Eric Bacon held the chair. Stop cried, Jason. You'll rip my pants. Ronnie and Allison giggled. All right, said Mrs. Jules. Let's try ice water. That should freeze the gum and make it less sticky. I'll go get some from Miss Mush. Miss Mush was a lunch teacher at Wayside School. She had the remarkable ability to undercook a dish and overcook it at the same time. Her specialty was a nice hot bowl of mud. She called it porridge. And Jason called it Ronnie and Allison. No, Mrs. Jules, he said. Don't leave me. Besides, Mrs. Mush's ice water is probably warm. Don't be silly, Jason said. Mrs. J Don't be silly, Jason said. Mrs. Jules, I'm sure it'll be at least as cold as her soups. Ronnie and Elsa leered at Jason. No, Mrs. Jules, don't go back, Jason. I'll be right back, Jason said. Mrs. Jules, she went to Miss Mush for some ice water. That's something Mrs. Jules said around the door. Ronnie and Elsa jumped from their seats and started to tickle Jason. He lied until his hair turned purple. The girls got back to their seats just as Mrs. Jules returned. Mrs. Jules carried a big bucket of ice cold water. Oh no, please don't, Jason pleaded. We have no choice, said Mrs. Jules. She threw the water all over him. Well, said Mrs. Jules, try to get up. Jason was drenched. I'm wet and cold and, and I'm still stuck. Oh well, it didn't work, said Mrs. Jules. At least we tried. Now I guess we have to cut, I guess we'll have to cut your pants off. Rodney and Allison giggled. No, Mrs. Jules, no, Jason screamed. I don't mind being stuck here. I'm really very comfortable. Don't be silly, Jason, said Mrs. Jules. Don't call my pants, said Jason. The three can carry you to the bathroom, said Mrs. Jules. I'll ask Louis to call your mother. She can bring you a new pair of pants. The three Eric's took hold of Jason's chair and turned him upside down. No, Mrs. Jules, said Jason. Now, now, now I'll always have a place to sit down. I won't have to worry about finding a seat on the bus. The three Eric's began to take him away. Boy, well, said Joy, Mrs. Jules. If I can get Jason, I'm stuck. But I still have to go home on the kindergarten bus. All right, said Mrs. Jules. If you, can, uh, if you can somehow get Jason free, you don't have to go home early. Don't trust her, Mrs. Jules, said Jason. He was still hanging upside down. I'll just kiss him, said Joy. No! Jason screamed. Don't let her kiss me. Mrs. Jules, throw water at me. Tickle me. Cut off my pants. Hand me upside down from the ceiling, but don't let her kiss me. I'll just kiss him on the nose, said Joy. We've got nothing left. We got not we've got nothing to lose, Jason, said Mrs. Jules. Ooh. Who wanted to kiss Jason, said Allison. Jason hung helplessly, helplessly upside down. Joy stepped up and kissed him on the nose. Jason fell in the chair and hit his head on the floor. Rodney and Allison giggled. Darn, said Todd. Now I'll have to go home alone again. Joy erased her name from the blackboard. Chapter 13, Rodney. Thank you, like and subscribe. Bye.